hey hey queens and kings welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching as well as clicking on today's video now today's video is a collaboration but we're doing a different collaboration we're doing some home decor today where i actually partnered with yet a home once again because you guys show so much love on each video that i pretty much collaborate with them which the last one was the blue bed that you guys are so much wondering about <laughs> trust and believe story time coming behind it but yes so yet a home reached out to me and they asked me did i want to do another collaboration i was like of course why not and where i would be collaborating with them on this eight drawer store chase where it is they say it's easy to assemble and you know it's fabric and all that good stuff like that so we gotta check this out and see how easy it is to assemble and besides your girl needs some storage so i was like yeah why not kill two birds with one stone so let's jump into this video so if you're a new queen or king here just stopping by hello my name is valerie over here i do all things home decor as well as lifestyle vlogs as well as a little dibba dabba and bougie luxury so if that's something you like to see please continue okay to watch. so as you all can see on the box they say it's a solid wood surface work surface correction on top and the steel frames in the drawers are made of fabric so we're going to see how sturdy this pretty much is or see how well it will hold up. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and take everything out of the box. You guys know how I do. I pretty much just lay everything out, get a quick rundown over. You know, you do a quick scan of the instruction to see how what you need to do, stuff like that. But you really don't read the instructions because I know I don't read instructions. So I just scan over with my eyeballs. That's how I do things so pretty much that's what i'm gonna do here to get an idea of how to put this dresser together or chest together All right, so here's the instruction and it's telling you every piece of product it is, how many it is, how many bolts, how many screws, how many ladders, because that's what I'm calling them at this point. There's three pieces there. <laughs> yeah, but so now that I don't call myself getting a quick scan or see what I need to do, because, you know, ain't nobody reading. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and start it to put all our first pieces together we got to move on to page one and two or step one and two however you want to call it so there are two long metal pieces and those are there are also three ladder looking pieces that's what i'm calling as you all see here and the wooden surface top which you see as step two so we're going to connect the first five pieces together which is the three ladder looking pieces and the two long metal sticks and then we're going to put the wood surface on top. Now, it was six screws that came up into this step here. So, we're going to connect all this all together and see how sturdy this pretty much get. Because that's just the foundation so far. Listen, reading is fundamental. You hear me? Because, honey, listen, at this point here, I was like, wait a minute. This is supposed to be easy. I already eyeballed this. I shouldn't have to go back to school of reading this from top to bottom. It's just that it is time consuming to put the little screws in it. And by my fingernails so long, so I was kind of getting frustrated. But, honey, I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. I had to remind myself that. Patient is a virtue. So therefore, I can just calm down and get this done. I was trying to watch TV too at the same time. So that could have probably why I was being distracted. <laughs>
All right, step three and four. So basically, we're going to put on the little anchors as the little feet look like little knobs. And then we're going to connect the wooden surface on top with some small screws. That was very irritating. So these are the little legs. Girl, I said legs. The little feet that I'm talking about here. So you just screw these on. You guys know this pretty much you can adjust the height of it just a tad little bit in case it get a little rocky or something like that. Unscrew it or so or tighten it up pretty much like I'm doing. And we're going to do that for each end. It's four of these came in a pack. Okay, at this point, y'all could call me Bob the Builder Needs Calissa. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I just knew I was doing it. I just knew I was doing it at this point here. Now, at this point, it is pretty sturdy. It really is. I haven't completed it yet, as you all can see. But do you see the little slots, the little grooves there? That's pretty much where the drawers is actually going to sit at and slide in and out. So now we go ahead and put our surface our wood surface on top and these are the screws that i was talking about they are much tighter than the ones that i had before but just be patient because it does give you like a little alley key so therefore you can help you know tighten it all up you know self-explanatory self-explanatory Baby, we are on the road, child. We done made it to step five and six, honey. We about to put these drawers together. And honey, it's going to be on and popping from there. So at this point here, we're using the fabric drawers. So all we got to do is place the insert that's pretty much going to give us the support. And these are the handles, the knobs. They are made of wood and you got the screws already screwed on each side so therefore you ain't got to be looking for no screw it does come with an extra screw just in case if you lose one but yeah in each pack it actually have two fabric drawers in each pack and i think it was like four pack came in inside the box but two in each pack if that makes sense please forgive me at this point here i did not know i wasn't in the full clip but Basically, I'm just putting the knobs on there. It was a little tedious because these screws, it was extra small. So, yeah, anything we had to do in type of screwing was tedious part for me. That's pretty much what it was. But other than that, it was easy and quick to assemble, like you said, on the box. It was no time at all. You find your good show or listen to your good podcast or something in your ear pods like I pretty much was doing and watch the TV. Honey, it'd be done in no time. It'd be done in no time. So, I say top probably about a good... 30 minutes, 30 minutes to the max, yes, if nobody bother you. All right, queens and kings, so here is the dresser. I actually do like it. It's very sturdy. Um, would it be as sturdy with the clothes in it? I'm not sure, but this portion is the support, so therefore it does not collapse. So I'm quite sure you don't put too much in here. Okay, queens and kings, so I want to show you guys with 
the drawers with some clothes in it. And as you all can see, this is pretty much filled to the top. And I have sweats and underpants and t-shirts and stuff like that. That's pretty much what it like my night garments as in sleeping clothes, not bra and panties or anything like that. But um, as you can see, it is full to the top and it's still easy to slide in and out. So I wanted to insert this clip because I noticed that I didn't show you guys that when I was actually filming this video. But this here is good and it holds a, a great amount if I didn't say that already. So yeah, now back to the regular schedule. Okay, we do just fine because oh, like I said, it is very sturdy and I do love it. But the only thing I do hate is just this tag, the warning tag. It does not like peel off easily. So I have to use some alcohol or something probably to get it off, vinegar or something. But other than that, I do like it. Then I do have the options, which I do like that if I don't want these handlers on here anymore, I can actually just take those off and put some crystal handlers on. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. My mind is go to thinking and just wondering. But I just totally love this little dresser. It fit nice in this little area, but I promise you it's not gonna stay here it just at video purpose at this time because i'm too lazy to actually put it in the spot where i need to put it at because i have to do other things in that location but shout out to yetta homes once again for collaborating with me i do love this dresser i truly appreciate you guys and shout out to you queens and kings because that's the only reason they pretty much reached out back to me because you guys showed so much love on the blue bed video so please continue to do your part and that's showing more love and support as you all continue to do. So with that being said, Queens and Kings, you guys continue to be royal. And remember, your crown may tip, but it damn sure won't fall. Bye-bye.